Ben, please make sure those reports are straight. No problem, Lily. Some of the older members of the family are extremely picky, so everything has to be perfect. Perfect's my middle name. Well, actually, it's James, but I was thinking of changing it. Where would you like these, Lily? Um, put this one there and the other one down here. No, actually, put these here and the other ones down there. I can understand why Lily's so wound up. Family meetings can be pretty stressful, and I've got a feeling the von Hassenberg family meetings might be more stressful than most. Sophie, do you mind awfully if I asked you to dust the display cabinets in the library? Don't worry, Lily. I'm happy to help in any way I can. Thank you so much. Ben, can you put out these name cards while I'm gone? No worries. I'm all over it like sauce on a pie. Yeah. Well, do your best anyway. The problem with family meetings is you can prepare all you like, but that doesn't mean they're going to go to plan. How do I know? Trust me. I've had personal experience. At home, Mum was a great one for calling family meetings. She called them peace conferences. Hello, here you come. Which meant they were doomed from the start. Right. I think we're all agreed that these silly fights between you two have got to stop. Sam? Mm. Ben? Sure. Good. I'm pleased to see we're getting off on the right foot. Now, Ben. I'd like you to tell Sam one thing that you actually like about her, and Sam will do the same for you. Oh, Mum, please. You can't be serious. Yes, it's important. Now, come on, Ben. Just one thing. Well, uh, most of the time, she... she... she doesn't smell. Oh, thanks. Yeah, but that's because you always hog the bathroom. I do not. You do. You were in there for an hour this morning. That's what? enough. Ben, it was meant to be a positive, not a negative. Still, you've got to admit he has a point. Brian! Dad! See, I told you. You just don't understand the pressures of being a teenage girl. Maybe not, but I don't see why women have to spend so much time... Oh, so now it's women, is it? Am I included in this? I didn't say that. Dad, that is so sexist. Yes. You two males spend just as much time in the bathroom as we do. <laughs> oh, Jill, that is simply not true. It is true. He's in there for days. Oh, yeah? Well, you're in there for years. Centuries. Thank Centuries. Yeah. They say that murder is the easiest crime to solve. Want to know why? Because most murders are committed in families. We were a long way from murdering each other, but often our peace conferences are more like declarations of war. Quick, they're all arriving. Have you finished the name cards yet? Done and dusted. But they're all in the wrong places. Didn't you follow my plan? That's a plan? I thought it was a bad sketch of a spaceship. You can't put Great Uncle Friedrich and Great Uncle Wolf Otto together. Why not? Uncle Friedrich beat Uncle Wolf Otto in a yacht race once. And Uncle Wolf Otto thinks he cheated. They've barely spoken ever since. Ever since when? 1962. That's a fair while to avoid speaking. The von Hasmuks have a long tradition of holding grudges. And you can't put Great Aunt Wilhelmina here. She has to be beside the window. Why? Aunt Wilhelmina faints at the drop of a hat. She needs plenty of ventilation. Otherwise, she'll spend the entire meeting on the floor. But this is the worst. You put Uncle Herman and Aunt Kiki beside Daddy? That's bad. Worse than bad. They can't stand him, and he can't stand them. Uncle Herman has been trying to take over the castle for years. He thinks just because he's the richest, he should be head of the family. But Daddy always says, having money is not what being a von Hasenburg is all about. <laughs> I can relate to that. What about your mum? She doesn't like any of them. Apart from Daddy, of course. Oh. She only comes to these meetings to support him. Although, don't be surprised if she leaves early. She usually can't wait to escape them all. Look, I'll rearrange these. Could you tell Sophie that when she finishes dusting, she needs to help with lunch? <laughs> On my way. So, what's this meeting all about anyway? The family has to sign the yearly financial statements for the castle. Sounds simple enough. No, not quite. If they don't all sign, then the castle will be declared bankrupt and Philip and Lily will be kicked out. But they wouldn't do that, would they? Who knows? They are family, after all. Please make your way to the conference room. The meeting is about to commence. Thank you, darling. As usual, you'll find a copy of the castle's financial report in front of you. Please take a quick glance through, sign at the bottom, and then we can all enjoy a delicious lunch. Oh, have a look at it. Another financial loss. Why am I not surprised? Well, it's been a difficult year. 
As you know, the economic conditions are very tough. But surely not this tough, Philip. Actually, Kiki, if you read the accounts properly, you'll see that Philip has done a brilliant job under extremely trying circumstances. Thank you, dear. Can you get the ring? The sooner this is over with, the better. Of course, Daddy. Message from the kitchen. Lunch is ready to serve. It's gone. What's gone? The Von Hasenburg signet ring. It was here this morning and now it's gone. Is it valuable? It has a family seal. Without it, the finest reports can't be completed. Don't panic. Maybe it's just fallen down somewhere. No, someone's taken it. Are you positive? Look at this. How can a ring fall out of a locked cabinet? That's pretty positive. This is a disaster. On a scale of one to ten, how bad a disaster? A million. That's a disaster. So, thank you, everyone. Now I'll just sign and seal everything and then we can have lunch. The ring's gone. Gone? What do you mean gone? It's disappeared. It's vanished. Anything wrong, Philip? No. No, nothing at all. Shall we go in for lunch? Now? But you said you signed before lunch. Oh, did I? Yes, we all heard you. That's what we always do, Philip. Actually, the cook's gone to a lot of trouble to prepare a beautiful lunch today. Oh, well, that sounds nice. And I know how much you hate cold food, Uncle Friedrich. Yes, yes, yes. nothing worse. Exactly. Alfred Amina, you lead the way to the dining room. We all follow. We have to find that ring or Herman will have my head on a plate. I know, Daddy. I'll get everyone searching for it. Are you sure nothing's wrong, Philip? Nothing I can help you with. Oh, how kind of you to offer, Herman. But everything's fine. Come on, lunch awaits. Lily called a crisis meeting, her favourite kind of meeting. But this one was different, because this time there really was a crisis. If the documents can't be signed, then Herman has the right to declare the castle bankrupt and force Daddy and me to leave. Just for losing a ring? Believe me, that gives him all the excuses he needs. Sounds like a really nice guy. I have to go to lunch or everyone will think something is wrong. Please search everywhere. I haven't got the vaguest idea where to start. Do you? All we have to do is find some fingerprints, do some DNA tests and bingo. Brilliant, Sherlock. And how do we do that? Well, I did find this in one of the drawers before. Great. A toy magnifying glass. That'll really help. Well, Dr. Watson, you might just be surprised. Take a look. He's right. There are scratches around the keyhole. And they look fresh. See? Oh, that's okay. Don't apologize. So you think they could have been made by the thief? And he must have been fumbling with the key. Yeah. Yep. Something like that. Okay. We have to figure out exactly when the ring disappeared. Did either of you see it before the meeting? Oh, hang on. I did see it. Yeah, when Lily sent me to ask Sophie to help with lunch. She was dusting everything, including the ring. How about we load all this into a sack and head for South America? Very funny. But wouldn't you prefer Australia? <laughs> Only a few of them. One day, maybe. Anyway, Lily says, when you finish, can you help with lunch? Tell her I'll be there soon. So, Sophie was alone in here with the cabinet open. Yeah. Oh, hang on. You surely can't suspect Sophie. I'm not saying that. Then what are you saying? That since Sophie was the last to see the ring, we should talk to her. Ah. Look at this awful room. Gothic is so last season. This castle is gothic, darling. So, it's about time it was updated. But there are rules, Kiki. You can't just decorate the castle however you like. So, change the rules. The government rules. Then change the government. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sophie, we need to ask you a question. I'm rather busy, can it wait? Just one question. After you finished dusting the family ornaments, was the signet ring still there? Yes, of course. Why are you asking? We think it's been stolen. Stolen? Shh. But you don't think that I could... No. Absolutely no. not. Oh. Quick, Sophie. If we don't start feeding them now, they'll be tearing down the walls. I'm on my way. Any luck? Uh, we might be getting warm. But we need more time. There is no time. Daddy has to sign straight after lunch. Can't we stole them somehow? I'll do what I can. But please hurry. If the ring was still here when Sophie left, it must have gone missing just before everyone sat down for the meeting. Yeah, which is exactly when all the von Hassenbergs would have come through here. You're not suggesting it was one of the family, are you? Who else could it be? And they had the perfect opportunity. They could just waltz in without anyone else noticing. But why would anyone steal from their own family? 
I seem to remember a certain family member stealing something of mine. I won't mention her name, but it starts with S, ends with M, and has an A in the middle. Bulldozer incident. Get over it, Ben. We were six. Hey, that was my favourite toy. I only took it from you to stop you bulldozing my sandcastles. That's what bulldozers are for. Bulldozing. I hate to interrupt, but this really isn't getting us far. Sorry. Okay. If one of the Van Hasenburgs did steal the ring, that puts us in a difficult position. Why? Because we can hardly ask them to let us search them, can we? True. But if the thief was clever, they wouldn't risk getting caught with the ring on them anyway. They'd hide it somewhere. Yeah, good point. And it'd be somewhere they could come back and retrieve it later. So maybe we should search the rooms close by? Let's do it. May I have everyone's attention? After lunch, Daddy will be taking us on a guided tour of the castle. We don't need a tour, Philip. We're not tourists. Well, hey, what's this about, Lily? Really? The ring's still missing. We have to store for more time. Oh, yes, yes, uh, a tour. I, I, I thought I'd surprise you all with it. But we've seen the castle a hundred times. I know, but you haven't seen the... the improvements I've made recently. What improvements? The place is falling down. Uh, don't be hasty, Kiki. Perhaps there are new holes in the roof. <laughs> Our first stop is the family portrait gallery. Red alert. Von Hassenberg's at 2 o'clock. Quick! Put everything back! Now, if you look carefully, you'll notice that there are new frames on several of the old portraits. For instance, this painting of Clara von Hasenburg. That's Lily. Why is she in Clara's place? They were all mixed up. None of the paintings match her nameplates. Philip, how could you treat our ancestors with so little respect? Surely it can't be too hard to look after our family portraits properly, but I... I'm sorry, everyone. The paintings were taken down for dusting and they've obviously been put back in the wrong places. Why don't we head to the library? I'm sure everything there is in perfect order. We've given a lot of attention to our library lately. It's our pride and joy. OK, we might go to the cafe instead. Oh, my goodness. I cannot believe it. This entire castle is in a state of complete chaos. No, no, it's not chaos at all. It's... It's just that we are in the middle of cataloging the book collection. Aren't we, darling? Correct. That's right, my dear. We are. It's awfully stuffy in here. Oh, oh dear, Wilhelmina. I think we could all do with some fresh air. Let's go out on the balcony. This castle needs more than fresh air. It needs you, darling. Yes, well, I can't disagree with that, my sweet. Find anything? No. Face it, guys. This is hopeless. I just I hate to agree. Ben's right. Besides, we're only guessing that the feet hit the ring. For all we know, we might still have it on them. They might indeed. Don't tell me. You've had an idea. I have. And if my guess is right, Sophie's the one who can help us solve it. Hey, Sophie. Ben. Any luck finding the you-know-what? Actually, the you-know-what is why I'm here to talk to you-know-who. As in me? As in you. Listen, I need you to tell me everything that happened after I left you at the ring cabinet. There's not much to tell. I finished dusting and then I closed the cabinet up. Then I locked it and put away the key in the drawer. Then the family members passed through on the way to their meeting. Then I went back to the kitchen. That's it. So, did any of the family see where you put the key to the cabinet? I'm not sure. Any of them could have. That's not what I was hoping to hear, Sophie. Sorry, but that's what happened. OK, so we're pretty sure the ring was taken, but we have no idea who did it. This is tough. But when the going gets tough, the tough get going. Time for something radical. Thanks, Sophie. <laughs> 
You've been a great help. But I wasn't much help at all. Just as well. Imagine how many kisses you'd be getting if you were. <laughs> you can't be serious. Do you have a better idea? It's very risky. What if it doesn't work? Then we'll all just look stupid and be sent to work in the salt mines. But what if... Look, if Philip can't sign, he and Lily are going to be thrown out of here, right? What have we got to lose? What do you think? I don't know. What do you think? Guys, it's time to stop thinking and start acting. Are you in or out? We're just wasting time, Philip. Yes, do you think I cancelled a Lego waxing appointment for this? I'm sorry, I thought you'd enjoy such a lovely view. Enough of your views, Philip. Let's get down to business, shall we? Perhaps you're right, Herman. Perhaps it's time to... Have some afternoon tea. Hmm? Afternoon tea? Well, we only just had lunch. Believe me, you're really going to enjoy this. We've ordered in some special cakes. They're unbelievable. This whole day is unbelievable. Come on, it'll be a treat to remember. And then you will sign? Absolutely. Please, please tell me you found the ring. Uh, not exactly. But Ben's come up with an idea. I'm not sure I want to hear it. You have to, Lily. Tell us of the dice. Sorry, everyone. We have to go back to the conference room. Oh, but I thought we were having tea. It's off. Off? Does anyone around here actually have a clue about what we're doing? It's rather important, I'm afraid. We have an announcement to make, and it concerns everybody. This is most irregular, Philip. I don't know when I've ever seen the like of it. If you were any sort of mother, Tina, you'd bring that daughter of yours under proper control. Don't worry, Kiki. I've told her she must regard you as her model. Really? Yes, her model of what not to become like. And if she does, I promise never to speak to her again. What's going on, Lily? No time to explain, Daddy. I have some instructions for you. Whatever this involves, Philip, make it quick. Then, let's finish the signing. We can all go home. What is this announcement? <clears throat> I'm terribly sorry, everyone, but uh, the truth is, there will be no signing today. What? I mean, Are you I serious? Mean, Why on earth not? Because the von Hasenburg signet ring has been stolen. <gasps> stolen? Oh, is this true, Philip? I'm afraid so. Well, then, this is the final straw. You know what this means, don't you? Alas, yes. I'm going to move a vote of no confidence in you. Then I trust you do the decent thing and step aside so that someone more capable can run this castle. Hear, hear. Before you do, Uncle Herman, please let me introduce Marcus. He has something to say. Marcus? Who's Marcus? Our assistant. What on earth could he say that would be remotely interesting to us? We have found fingerprints and a hair on the door of the cabinet that held the ring. <coughs> it's clear that these must belong to the thief. Is that all? No. We've called the police. They're on their way here and will fingerprint everyone and do DNA tests. So I'm afraid no one can leave until the tests have been done. Surely you're not suggesting the thief is one of the family. <laughs> oh, we certainly hope not, Aunt Wilhelmina. But the police insists that everyone must be tested. Are you sure this is going to work? No. Great, I feel so much better knowing that. Sam, trust me. I know what the criminal type looks like, and Herman's definitely as criminal looking as they come. I've got a dog to feed at home, you know. How long is this police business going to take? I'm not sure, Aunt Wilhelmina. Hopefully not too long. We can't stay cooped up in here all afternoon. I'm going for a walk. Sir, the police have asked that until they arrive, no one moves far from this room. That's ridiculous. Do they think we're common criminals? I, for one, am going to the bathroom. Police or no police. Certainly, Aunt Kiki. If it is Herman, I hope he comes soon. I'm starting to get a cramp. Oh, come on, Sam. Toughen up. You have to... He's here. OK. Are you ready? I think so. Mr. Herman von... Just who do you think you are, and what do you think you're doing? I, I, um, I was about to ask you the same question. My dear Kiki, is everything all right? 
Look, she's got the ring. Oh, wonderful. But how did you get it, Kiki? And where did you get it, Kiki? I, I... Uh... There's a perfectly innocent explanation for this. No, there isn't. She was obviously trying to put the ring back before the police came here. Uh, thank you, Lily. I'm sure you're right, Herman. Uh, what is the explanation, exactly? Oh, Kiki found the ring lying on the floor, didn't you, darling? Um, yes, yes, I did. But we searched the whole place earlier. Well, obviously, it must have rolled under a cabinet, and you failed to see it. Then how did she see it? It was a trick of the light. <clears throat> it must have caught the afternoon sun, and Kiki was blinded by it, and then she innocently picked it up. Isn't that what happened, Kiki? Yes. Exactly what happened. Aren't we fortunate that Kiki has such sharp eyes? Hmm. You can't seriously expect us to believe that. I'm going to tell the rest of the family we have a thief among us. No, Lily, you will not do that. But, Daddy... Herman and Kiki have explained what happened. That's all that needs to be said. But you can't seriously expect... I do. The ring went missing and has now been found. End of story. Kiki? Herman? Hmm? Perhaps you're now... Witness me signing and sealing the documents? Of course. We'll be delighted to do so. Isn't that so, dear? Yes, yes, we will. So another annual von Hassenberg family gathering came to an end, and Philip and Lily were safe for one more year. Personally, though, I had an uneasy feeling this wouldn't be the last we'd see of Herman and Kiki. Like global warming, you could be pretty certain that with those two, their worst effects were still to come. Thank you, all of you, for your wonderful help in making this such a successful day. I'm so lucky to have you as my very own little extended family. But I still don't understand why you protected Herman and Kiki. It's not just their thieving and dishonesty. They were trying to kick you out. Bringing shame and disgrace on your own family is never the right thing to do, Lily. But they were prepared to do it. But we are not them. We are us. Which is why I'm so proud of you, Philip. Remember, Lily, our family might be perfect, but it's the only one we have. <laughs> Even though some of them are cheats, thieves and idiots? Thieves, perhaps, cheats, maybe, but... Please, Lily, the von Hasenburgs are not idiots. Well, some of us aren't. <laughs> Families, eh? Can't live with them, can't live without them. I think that pretty much sums it up. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, God. I've got your own cakes. <laughs>